We're going to show Master Sussman respect. So, Tiger. Good. Dragon. Okay, folks. Uh, put together. Now, show respect. So we uh, show respect always. Uh, Master Barnes and I have trained for a long time together, and uh, it doesn't matter who you're training with, you always sh show respect. It's kind of like just shaking hands. Now, we're operating during this uh, pandemic. Yeah, everybody's homebound. Even my, my little one's down there in South Carolina. So uh, got to kind of show you, you know, what to do when you're, when you're starting home. Really, what you do in martial arts um, by yourself, alone, at home, um, really is going to dictate uh, how good you get. So I'm going to show you some things, and we're going to get a workout in, and I'm going to hopefully wrestle some of your, uh, your crazy uh, energy, and we'll have some fun, okay? All right, so I want you to stand with your feet shoulder-width apart and your arms out to the side. Rotate, and I can see you guys and see if you're doing it. Or if you're uh, Master Barnes' age, you mind, you'll see, maybe hear some creaks and cracks. Okay, <laughs> yeah. now rotate your shoulders. Nice. Rotate them the other way. Yeah, Max. Now, if you can, open, uh, rotate them opposite. I know that's hard, isn't it? Do this. Bring one down, one up, and keep them going. Get that up there. And then you can stop and go the other way. This is all so that we don't injure ourselves when we're training. Okay? Okay, now. I want you to go down to push-up position. And Kimberlyn, I'm going to trust that you're going to show Amy in some good push-ups. I want everybody, I'm going to move my camera down a little bit so that hopefully you can see. I don't know if that's, uh, I know I cut my head off there a little bit, which might not always be a bad thing. Okay, I want good push-ups. We're just going to do, do as many as you can. Uh, I'd like to see you kids, see if you can get 10, see if you can get 20. They used to ask Muhammad Ali, how many push-ups do, does he do? And he always said three, because the first 50 don't count. Only the last three that he really struggled with. So what's really important isn't the number, but your technique. The same with the techniques we're going to go over tonight. So um, see how my, hopefully my back is nice and straight. I'm going to go down, I'm going to touch my chin, and come up. Now, I want everybody to do 10 of those. And I'm going to come up here and watch you. 10 push-ups. Go. Make sure that your butt's not sticking up in the air and got pigeons landing on it. We don't need that. Good job, guys. I'm going to show you a couple of, uh, of different uh, push-ups, too. Kurt, we, had, uh, we have a, a new guy joined us, Max, here in the bottom. Oh, was... hi, Max. How you doing? So I have to actually uh, scan over here. <coughs> Let's see. Brittany was not. Paul disappeared on me there. But I'm running on that on the Zoom app. Everything was working fine. I kind of think that Zoom is getting a lot of uh, a lot of use these days. Yeah. Probably what's going on. Okay, what I want you guys to do now, you you uh, did regular push-ups. So let me back up a little bit so you can see me. I want you to do push-ups now with your arms wide. So your arms are way out here. Let me. Adjust my camera a little bit here. Good job. Okay, so now I got wide push-ups. I'm going to do five of them. Remember, technique is the key. Always strive to be. So Klaus and Greta, you guys are going to do push-ups with your arms really wide. Yeah. You push up over the top. Yeah, Klaus and I want you guys to feel uh, how it feels different. Like when your hands are close, 
where does that, where do you feel the pain with that? When your hands are wide? It's all about feel. And how good you get at martial arts depends on how, how bad you want to. And yep, so don't this, let your bellies hit the floor. Standing here at home, that's going to make you or break you. Yeah, and feel free to, to join in, Gary, and uh, chime in. Now, I, I know I'm the, the, the push-up guy. Put your hands in close. You don't have to do diamonds, but really close hands like yeah. this. Ninja Junior, back up just a little See bit. See if so you can do three of them. There you go. Oh, Jackson. Oh. <laughs> And you'll see Good. Oh. <laughs> <That's a clap. laughs> Klaus and Greta, you guys should be down and doing push-ups. I see you. I see you, Kimberlyn. Are you doing good? Are you doing good with the push-ups? Good job, man. Atta girl. Okay, now, now we're gonna go over on our on our backsides like this. Because now we're gonna work on our, our abs. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit up. Bring your knees and your feet off the ground. Touch your knees and go down. Up, feet up, touch your knees, down. Up, touch your knees, down. I want you to do 15 of them. It might seem like a lot. Oh my gosh. But it's the up. Your back's up, your feet are up. Okay, keep going while I come in here and peer in and see what you're looking like. On your butt. Yeah, that a girl, Kimberlyn. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Well, she's a gymnastics girl, so she's she's gonna have no problem with this stuff. Okay. Nice job, now, you. what I want you guys to do, this is all about feel. And tell me, Gary, if I if I'm too quiet or I'm too loud. No, whatever. I'm telling you if I'm too obnoxious because I know I am. But uh, I want you guys to see this. Okay? Now I'm going to turn. My legs are straight. My arms are straight. It looks like I'm not doing anything. But I want to keep my back straight. Nice. And hold. 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 Good, Rich. Good. Nice, Jake. Now you'll see that what that does is that's strengthening your core muscles. This is where everything really goes on is your core. It's not in your big biceps. It's in the core. Okay, now we're going to stretch out a little bit. All right, I want you to sit down on the floor. And I think you can see me okay. Now I want your feet straight out in front of you. I want your back to be straight. Just like if you were sitting up, up against a wall. Now, bring your legs out. It doesn't have to be as far as you can go, but just a good distance. And now I want you to lean down to your right leg and keep your back straight. I don't want you to hang your head like this. Keep your, your chin up, your head up, your back straight. Come down. Nice, Max. Hold it for a count of 10. Two, three, four, five, six, guys. seven. So you want to sit, eight, you want to sit straight? Nine. Right on your butt, Klaus. Ten. Okay, go to the opposite side. Straight. Everything is straight. Hold it for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good okay, job, guys. Straight. And if you're like this, and I'm gonna show you, if you're like this, and you're trying to stretch like that, that's, uh, that's a bad position, you're gonna hurt yourself. You have to get to a point to where you can rotate forward and sit up straight. From here, you can stretch out. So sometimes, just this is a stretch. Yeah. But now I want you, with your legs to the side, what I do, because my legs are about the same length as my hands or my arms, 
So I can like grab my feet easily, but I want you to come bring your chin down, not, uh, not your forehead, your chin down, your belly down, come down to the center and hold it for 20. Good, Sawyer. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Oh my gosh. Good. And then stand up. And now I'm going to readjust my camera again a little bit. I'm going to have to back up a little bit here, Gary, so they can That's see fine. all of me. Now, stancing. you got a, a couple of basic stances. If I'm standing like this, I'm giving all my targets to my opponent. So if I stand sideways, I'm hiding almost all my targets. But I'm kind of limited with what I can do myself. So we're going to want to do halfway in the, in the middle. So this is a fighting stance. And your instructor is showing you how to do a fighting stance. I like to say you put your feet together kind of like this. And then spread them out. And you put more weight on your back leg, less on the front leg. And your hands are up right by the sides of your face. Okay, so that if anything comes to your face, that's all you have to do for defense. Anything comes to the midsection, that's all you have to do. Anything comes lower, you've got your knees and your shins. And of course, then you got your strikes and things like that. Okay, so this is a fighting stance. This is a fighting stance. I'm not all the way this way. And I'm not all the way that way, I'm right in between. And that's where I want you to be. And we're, what we're gonna do, these are all of your techniques, they're like, they're like knives. And in order to keep them sharp, it takes a lot of sharpening, a lot of movements. That's what we're gonna be doing. So dance, guys. how many times you throw a punch, uh, that's gonna determine how good that punch is because every time it gets better and better. Now, I'm a little non-traditional. A lot of traditional martial arts, they strike with a rear limb, with a rear leg, with a rear hand. I'm gonna be showing you guys using the front hand. So we're gonna start with a jab. And remember, it's just a straight line. So you're looking at a point on the wall, maybe a screw, or maybe a picture hanging, and I want you to throw it right straight out and right straight back. And I want you to be loose, tight, loose, tight, and then back. So you're going to be loose, tight, and back. And I want you to do 10 times jab, just like that. 10 times on this side, switch your stance, 10 times on the other side. Ready? Go. Master Barnes and I are going to watch you. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Max, you want to use yeah. your phone? <laughs> yes. You're using your and front hand. And the key yeah. is loose to tight. Loose to tight. Brittany, I have to say, I'm watching you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that was using your front hand, hand 10 times. And I used to have a uh, Kicking days where I would do 2,000 kicks in, in the day. And that wasn't a lot. And you you got to think of this so like uh, you're making sculpture. And so you're taking off what you don't need. And every time you repeat it, your body gets better and better and better and better at being able to, to, to uh, do the technique. Your body knows how to do this. Your head doesn't. Okay, back in your fighting stance, our original position. Now I'm gonna turn a little bit as my back hand comes in straight. Switch your and stance. It looks hard. There's a punch, but I'm loose. Switch your feet, Klaus. And Klaus, maybe closer to the microphone. 
Jake, switch your feet. Here. So that's, that's your rear cross. So you jab, rear hand, rear cross. I want you to do that one 10 times. Switch your stance 10 times on that side. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Where's we, we need the Rocky theme. We need the Rocky theme. Yep. Jab cross, guys. Front hand, back hand. Front, yeah. back. Front, back. You guys are you guys are doing awesome. Good. Make sure that's you know nice and straight, guys. Yes. That's Max, sweat. that looks really good. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna be I'm a little bit close, so I'm gonna just, just go a little bit lower myself just so you can see me. So we're using. Remember, if we're using our front hand front foot or our back hand, the back foot, okay? So I want to go back to this front hand and I want you to do what's called a back fist. There's a lot of variations of it depending on how you hold your hand, but I just want you going like that, okay? That's very back. fast, very fast. Somebody grabs a hold of you, if you hit very fast in the nose, their eyes are water, give you time to go away. 10 times, switch your stance, 10 times on that side. Ready, go. So your back fist, ah, on the back. Yeah. Good. Keep those hands up, guys. And then switch when you're done, 10, and then do 10 on the other. Yeah. Switch your feet, Jake. So you're using your front hand there. There you go. That's it. Yep, so back fist on your front hand, guys. And so, so that you guys know, I've been doing just what you're doing since I was your age. When I was that age, I was doing that. I, I, wanted to, I, I wanted to always do martial arts as long as I can remember. And uh, if you want to, you really can do a lot. Now, we're, we're still kind of just warming up a little bit here. We haven't even got to the difficult stuff yet. So what I want you to do now is now we did that front hand, we're gonna go to the back hand again. I want you to go with the back hand and I want you to do chop. Now, of course, this can go to the neck or to the chest, to the jaw. It can be done with a hammer fist, but I want you to go here. So back this hand. Is inward chop here. from striking and set. Turning, and when I push off the floor and I turn my hips, that's what gives it its power. So I'm going to push it, turn, and snap. Two guard stances, guys. <laughs> okay, backhand is chopping. Chop that tree down ten times each each side. Show me good guard stance, and then chop, guys. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Ten on each side. And what's Don't important to remember when you're doing these. Don't stiff it up. That's how you hurt yourself. You stay loose. You don't try to be fast, and you don't try to be powerful. Those jobs, Jackson. Because speed and power will come through repetition. The more you do it, the better you get. And you'll, you'll see that if you, if you stick with it. Okay. See your jobs, Jackson. Is everybody caught up? I, have, nobody, I haven't lost anybody to, uh, to uh, fatigue yet, right? Okay. No. I'm staying with the back hand because I'm doing something that's a little, a little closer. That's an elbow strike. I'm using my back hand, my back elbow, and I'm going to do an elbow strike. One, yeah, this is your inward elbow from your striking set, guys. Three. And I want you to do 10 on each side, and I want those hips moving just like you're a cha-cha champ, like Bruce Lee was. Right, so show me good. Ten on each side. Let me see those elbows. And I'm going to get kind of close here. 
And see, what I'm doing is my elbow is really close, so that's really cool. If I have to use something really close, the elbow is very powerful. Those elbows. Okay, but from the back, the hips power. Jake, you want to use your backhand. Richie, guard stance, show me those elbows. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, guys, remember to switch your stance. Klaus, that's real good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now, hopefully everybody's got it. We're going to speed up a little bit. I, I see that we're time's running kind of short. I'll go over a little, five minutes or so and get into our uh, free time a little bit if I have to. I want you to get back in that fighting stance, and we're gonna we're gonna start with a back back foot because it feels natural, and I'm gonna do that kick. I'm gonna do it right at the camera. Okay, and what I'm doing is a front kick. My toes are pointing up, and I'm my foot is actually like that. So it's a front kick like this. I want you to do ten. Switch right. your stance. Do ten. Go. Now let's speed it up a little bit. Nice form. Nice form. Yeah. Oh, Kimberlyn, you're on you're on natural. You're on natural. That's it. And you'll notice that when you're first starting, you're wobbling and like that, and as you get better. You do that, Sawyer? Your balance is good. Your posture is good. Everything gets better. The next two kicks that we do, I'm gonna keep kicking while I'm telling you, are gonna be a roundhouse kick and then a side kick. And I'm gonna show you. Now, let's see how everybody's doing. Okay, before we do the roundhouse kick, I'm gonna show you something. This is what I made for my students. I made a bunch of these. You know what it is? It's a stick. <laughs> That's it. With a piece of string and some paper wadded up on the end and then taped into a ball. And my cat loves it. Lily loves it. She chases it all around. And this is something that you can spar with at home about 50 cents. Your parents can make you one and won't break anything. You can use it for speed and for accuracy. And there's other things you can use for power, like kicking trees, yeah. Okay, now I want you to use your front leg. What I'm going to do, this is kind of like a jab, but it's with a foot. Okay, I'm hitting with this part of my foot. Okay. Show me guard stance, guys. So it's in a... Guard stance, fighting stance. I want 10 on each side, good ones. They should be fast. Use maximum reps. Front leg. Yeah, and Kimberlyn, make sure that you get those hips over and you're kicking with your front leg. Uh, the, whichever leg is forward. Nice, Max. Next. What's that? Okay, slow it down. Nice, that looked good. Keep those knees up, guys. Nice, Richie. Jake, nice high kick, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Sawyer. Bring your hands up, buddy. And hit with that instep. There's a lot of different ways you can you can do this kick. And this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, if you can see I remember this. Remember both sides. This is what I'm doing. If you can see. I'm hitting this way. And what is this thing? It's a piece of PVC plastic wrapped in duct tape. That's all it is. But it's a good target. And it shows how I'm how I'm uh, kicking or how I'm attacking this. Those hands up. What I'm doing is I'm coming in. See so that? Yeah, it fell because it was afraid of me. Okay, guys, everybody in set position while Master Sussman's talking. Okay, now, you know your roundhouse kicks, back in the original position. I want you facing me. 
I want the front leg, you want a side kick. Now, do you see how slow I did that? Here you go, sideways. Now, if you can do that very slow, then you can do it fast. All right, so we want to go. A lot out. of people don't practice it enough, and it's sloppy, and then they give up. Your so front you legs to do it slow, like to do it fast. But ultimately, you're in universal. You're hitting line. with your heel. Your heel. So guys, it's ten. Just, it's just like the kick we do in universal one, but we're not sliding up. We're just doing the kick. Okay. So guard stance. Switch your stance. Front leg side. Ten on that side. Ooh, that looks good. That looks frightening. <laughs> nice, kick. <laughs> nice kick, Max. Bend that knee, guys. Keep those hands up, Klaus. Yes. Now, these kicks, I, I'm doing them with a front leg. And I don't have, I see Master Barnes has a partner there. I don't have somebody here I can kick to show you. <laughs> but when you're facing a partner, this leg, this hand is closest to that person. It's not as powerful, but it, it can hit them very, very fast. So you gotta be able to come in, strike, and get out if you need to. Right. You guys okay. all remember a slide up sidekick from, from Universal One, right? So we're doing this. What's that? Right? Yes. Yeah. We have our pattern there. All right, for our last one, I want you guys to do, um, I want you to try to do this. Get in your fighting stance. This is a back kick. It's a very difficult kick. Don't worry if you fall down. But what you do from your back, from your uh, guard stance or your fighting stance, I want you to turn, look, push, and kick like a side kick. And right back and down. So I'm kicking with the back leg, but I'm turning my back. This is a powerful kick, but it's hard to do. Let me see who can do 10 of them on each side. Look at your target. Your eyes have it all. What are you looking at? Good job, Richie. Look at it and push and kick at it. Remember, make a Let me big see. circle. I want to see some... Awesome. Yeah. I see you, Sawyer. Yeah, you, your hair is fine. <laughs> you guys are doing great. You see that again. What's really Greta. awesome is that you guys are here. And other people might be playing video games or something. You guys are here training. That's impressive. Look at that. Max, that was good. Jackson, that was a nice kick. Uh, Jay Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna give you a last one just because uh, you guys are doing really good. This is uh, actually the spinning version of this is my signature kick. I want you to do this one with your front leg. Every kick has its opposite. So if I have a roundhouse kick, the opposite of it is a hook kick. Now, I'm going to hook it right towards, yeah. see that? I'm coming yeah. out and in, and I'm yeah. slapping back that way. No. So, no. I want 10 no. on each side. Go. And that's a front leg doing it. And your hook kick. <laughs> yeah, don't. Hey, what's up, Ben? Show me hook kick, guys. Remember, like, giving a high five. Good, Jackson. Now you want to think of what, that was how it's traveling. It's traveling right in a level plane, level plane, just like that. Now what I do is this one. So that's a spinning hook kick. When you spin and when you snap and hook like that, it's very, it's very, very powerful. Come on, guys, keep kicking. Good, 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 good. You see it, Jake. Now I'm going to tell you guys, they say, <laughs> that's okay. I, ha I had somebody, Kimberlyn, 
a while, quite a while ago that said, uh, went to kick the heavy bag and fell down kicking it and fell down and said, yeah, that was excellent. They said, I fell down. I said, that's right. You got to fall down at least a thousand times to earn a black belt. So you have to know what it feels like to lose your balance in order to gain it. Okay. So my hat's off to you guys. You're home and you're training. And what's going to make you good is practicing the basics. I know it sounds boring because um, doesn't matter what you're trying to get good at. You're not good at the beginning. You have to beat the first opponent. And the first opponent is boredom. I'll and so playing the guitar, you're not going to pick it up and you're not going to be playing real good. It's going to be, uh, 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 and if you can overcome dragons and, and repeat, 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 try to think of as many ways as you can do it. I'm going to do 10 kicks as position, slow guys. as I can. I'm going to do them as fast as I can. I'm going to do them as Action powerful steps. as I can. You try to use your mind to think of different ways so that you keep your attention on what you're doing and you'll get better. They say you can always walk into a school and tell who's a beginner and who's an expert. Because the beginners are trying all kinds of fancy things. But the experts are just focusing on one thing and refining it and refining it and refining it. Okay, so there's nothing uh, fancy about it, but those, those couple of techniques from, you know, your medium range, which is your punching, to close range, which is your elbows, to your long range, which is your feet, that's three different ranges of distance from your, your opponent, that if you get those knives sharp, you're safe in those, in those ranges. Okay, so it's up to you, and I'm going to be watching Okay, all right, so let's finish it up with, I want 10 push-ups followed by 10 crunches mm -hmm. in the beginning, okay? Go. You know, and I'm going to watch you guys. Good. See 10 good push-ups, guys. And feel free to message me or Master Barnes uh, any questions you might have. Remember, technique. Technique is the most important. Very good. 10 good ones, guys. Nice, Sawyer. Good push. -up. Yeah, Sawyer. Real nice. How you doing there, Paul? Yo, Kerr. How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Good. Good, good. Yeah, sorry. I'm just finishing up some oh, work. That's, all right. that's okay. I, I see that uh, Jen Jensen's there. And he's... Yeah. Okay, and if you, if you did your 10 push-ups, did 10 crunches... I want you to do this. I want you to see where you're at. Okay? I want you to stand, and I want you to bend here. So I'm kind of like, a, like an L. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to try to keep my back straight, and I'm going to put my hands right on the floor. Maybe you can touch your fingers. What, what matters is that you keep your back straight, and you keep your legs straight. So I don't care how far you go. But you'll see that this is a really, really hard stretch. It's called a jackknife for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I hear phones going off. Okay, now go back to where we were at the beginning. Sit with your legs straddled like this. And from back here, I don't have my spectacles on, so I'll inspect you in a minute. Remember how I said, you want to rotate forward so your chest comes up. Even if you push with your hands in the back like that and lift your chin up to make sure that back is Oh, wow, nice stretch. Form is everything. And then turn over here and down. And count of 10. I'm gonna trust you to do your count of 10 over to the other side, a count of 10. And then to the center. So count of 20. Do that. I want to watch you. Good job, guys. Yeah. And what matters is that you, you go down and you hold it. 
You don't go down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah, Meeper there. Who's that? That's Aaron. Aaron. Nice. Nice. Kimberlyn. Nice. Good to see you. That's a new house you got there, Kimberlyn. We got to come down, Mimi and Pop, to see it. And Mimi's going to want to see this video. I'm going nice. to unmute you a second here. Possibly. See if it'll uh, let me do it. There we go. Okay, Kimberlyn. Okay, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Where, where'd Avian go? You didn't beat him up, did you? He's, he's playing in his room. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's all Hi, good Greg. seeing you, you again, and I'm glad that you, you joined us. I'm going to mute this here. And you, yeah, she, I just got her wound up. So, yeah. uh, Kurt, we should probably, well, Kurt, we should probably dismiss the Dragons right now so we can get to the juniors next. Yes. Yeah. So, remember what I said, focus on just the essentials, just what you need, nothing more. And repeat, 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 repeat. And if you can do that, you'll get very, very good. Okay? All right. Thank you for your time. And I'm glad to give my time to you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.